Hi folks, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up the Annex on the Jackson forward fold. The main components are, one, the draft skirt, which I've already attached to the side of the camper, Velcro across the top, and it's got steel loops across the bottom to peg it down. Of course, the PVC floor and the awning, which we've already set up. The walls are in three pieces, two end walls, one each end, and the main wall. For the purpose of this exercise, I'm going to separate all three pieces and put them up individually. The process will be to Velcro it across the floor first, raise it up, Velcro it across the awning, and then peg it down, and it'll be the same for all three components. So what I've done here is laid out my wall. I've folded the little PVC skirt underneath it and exposed the Velcro and got it exactly lined up where I want it with the floor. The reason I do this, it's much easier to connect the Velcro with the floor laid out than putting up all the walls and then crawling around inside the annex, trying to spread the floor and connect it up. This way I can press the Velcro down and it'll be very secure. Now, it's easy just to Velcro this up into place. I'm quite tall, so I haven't lowered the awning that far at all. If you're a bit shorter, you can lower the awning right down. It doesn't matter, you can bring it down to this sort of level, no problem at all. But when I'm putting this Velcro on, because it's just me, I've got no one pressing on the other side. As I do it, I'm lifting it up and pressing the Velcro along this ridge pole. It allows me to push it down. The Velcro is extremely strong. You'd, you'd be amazed at just how much weight the Velcro alone will hold in shear. Now as I get to the corner, I can fold up the corner of the awning, bring it up and press it in. Now I'll peg it down and then we'll repeat for the other two walls. So there you go folks, our annex is up, the corners are zipped up, everything's pegged down around the base. The only thing left to do is to put my number 12 poles in the centre of each end wall as per the pole diagram. There you go folks, there's the annex set up on the Jackson forward fold. Easy to do, follow the steps. Remember, don't overstress the canvas, don't extend your poles too tight, and in windy conditions, absolutely still use guy ropes. Mm -hmm.